interesting journey for Steve Atwater. First of all, he couldn't get into the voters room. He wasn't one of the top 15 finalists like 10, 12 years after he retired. Then once he got in the voters room, he got in pretty quickly. He was only three times as a finalist. And then finally he gets in and he said it was well worth the wait. What did he say to you when you put on the gold jacket? Do you remember? I just said he's he's happy for me. He's proud of me, and uh, you know I just told him, hey, thank you. You know because you know without him, I don't think I'm here. Love you, man. We were here, man. Oh man, I can't believe it. I wanted to cry. I don't know. You know, it was kind of emotional just hearing some of the guys talk, and you know we're realizing that hey, we're all getting a little bit older, and you know we got to make sure that we kind of stick together and make sure we stay in communication with one another. Uh, so it's just a whole nother brotherhood that uh, I've been welcomed into, and it's, it's definitely an honor. When uh, Peyton got his gold jacket, he was asked if he stopped and thought about uh, all the great things he uh, had did uh, during his career. And he said, no, he doesn't think that way. And when I caught up to him beforehand, he talked about what this whole weekend, the best part of it was for him. Uh, what, what, what's been the highlight so far? How was the lunch? Uh, it's just been neat. You know, I've got the lunch was great. Uh, you know, fun seeing players you played with, played against, uh, looked up to. So it's uh, that's been the best part of it about seeing lots of people, and uh, it's been special. Peyton was one of those guys who grew up uh, understanding who Sammy Ball was, Charlie Connerly, some of the old uh, greats. He admired Dan Marino and Troy Aikman. He uh, really. Uh, was inspired to play against those guys, the heroes of his youth. So this means a lot to him. He's a guy who did understand the NFL well before he started playing.